Yep. Yeah, we're looking at less supply, Neil. So if you've been to your local supermarket chain the past few weeks, you will notice that there is less stock in the grocery aisles. And the complaints have been loud and they've been circulating across social media with videos of empty fridges and grocery shelves. So no meat, dairy or eggs. Now, Omicron spread is exacerbating an already strained supply chain with a highly contagious variant really forcing workers and food makers, distributors, inspectors and the grocery stores themselves to call in sick and stuck in quarantine. So if you feel that meat supplies in particular are harder to find, you're not wrong. Last week, we had slaughters of hogs and cattle dropping off significantly, according to the Department of Agriculture, with less workers available. Now, many of the biggest companies in the food industry have been very vocal in the lack of labor, and that includes ConAgra, Campbell's Soup, Egg Distributor, Egg Innovations, and some of the large grocery chains. So with fears of less supply, that has shocked Shoppers stockpiling once again, which is pretty reminiscent of the early days of COVID back in 2020. But it's not just a food chain. You also have other industries and companies, including shipping giant FedEx, now warning of longer shipping delays because of workers quarantining with Omicron. And then, of course, thousands of flights continue to be affected, delayed or just canceled. Bus schedules that have been altered and schools being shut. So Omicron is definitely making it feel like the spring of 2020 once again. And Neil, as you mentioned, could be spiking prices and continuing the high run of inflation that we've been experiencing. Yeah, and just hiking rates might not uh, stop that process, at least not immediately. We'll follow it very, very closely. Uh, Susan, thank you very much. Susan Lee.